Just gonna save this as the next iteration. Number four. And we're ready to start on the drums. Now the drums start here. And we can mute everything else, percussion, bass. Oh, <laughs> I clicked on the mix bar. Percussion, bass, keys, horns, guitars, vocals, and effects. So now, just drums. Let's move in to see where we're at. At least that's where I start. I like to start with the drums. Um, it's kick drum. All right, I'm going to bring in uh, Fab Folder EQ so I can look at uh, the audio spectrum. I'm considering uh, doubling up the kick track. Uh, in fact, I will just anyway. This looks like it has plenty. But I'm going to show you a little thing here you could do. Um, even if, the, it, like this kick sounds like it has enough bottom, but you could double up this kick by duplicating it. Number, active, everything, yes. And then we could call this uh, sub, right? And um, take this kick called kick sub and then just take the uh, take all the highs out you can even go with like an EQ one and do a, uh, a pass on it like this let's just solo it so it's just just all the lows So that could be our sub kick. And then we could mix it in with this. And it could be our, uh, this could be our high. So we'll go back to the fab filter. And roll some lows. Yeah, that's, that's our lows now. So when we go to mix, if we need a little more oomph, we can just add that in. Let's listen just to this guy. So take out some of the wonky middle. Give it a little point. That should be good for right now. And as I said before, I would take these two guys and I'm going to sub them out to an aux. And it only needs to be mono. I'm going to call it kick. That's going to go out to my skin sub. And the input is mono kick sub. We'll take these two guys, go out to the kick sub. And then I lose my pan pots because it's mono. And my favorite plugin for drums is Isotopes. Alloy 2 because
because, and I will disable demo version. No, it's not. This is demo version crap. Uh, let's get out of here. No insert. Let's try it again. Visor to LY2. Now it works. I don't know what the heck, man. Favorite plugin for drums. Uh, turn off the equalizer, turn off the dynamics, go into the transient on, and then we can turn it into multi band. And then you can look at the bands, and then you can set these bands to where you want them. So, uh, right now, it's there's nothing going on with the plugin, right? So, if I take this plugin and bypass it, Yep, okay. So everything's all the same. So let's mix these two guys. And we're down, way down here. So let's go up. So I'll put this up at zero. Add in some bottom. We don't even need this. Doesn't have to sound like Metallica. Uh, delete that. So in this plugin, we can take all the mids. No transients down there. Let's take the sub down to say seventy-six, right? Then we got our top. We can go full on Metallica. You can hear the all the bleed from the cymbal in there. Take the lows down to real quick too, and then oomph it. We're gonna take those highs out. There's no reason for those highs. Start over. Or you could even make the lows last longer. I don't know if you can hear that. That's very low. Come up higher. Now, because the level is down here, I will go into the limiter and turn that guy on and get some more gain out of it. Just start there. Seems on low. We're not hearing the snare because this is not solo safe. Tom's solo safe. Here we go. That's a pretty loose snare. So they added this sample. to get more of the snare sound on top. So, um, 
I wonder what their intent was. Like, why, why even do that? All right, there's a lot of ghosts on here, so let's try compression right off the bat. Let's go for it. Uh, da, 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 this guy. There's a preset in here for a snare, right? So we'll start there with a snare. And listen. That might be a bit drastic, but I'm trying to get those ghosts there, and I I don't want to I don't want to gate it. Listen to the same compression. All right, same thing going on there. So I'm going to cut the lows because of the kick drum. on both. I still hear it, so let me see where that is. Just cheating using fab filters. So, uh, go with Try it on both. Well, it's up higher than that, so... So I'm going to cut back on this. In fact, I don't think I even need it. So let's take it out of here. No. Because all we want is the snare sound. So, and then this guy is a sample. Sounds good right off the bat. So bring my snare up. My snare is down. Let's listen to these two guys. Yeah, it went up too soon. So that's really cracky. Let's see if we can get this guy there.
Interesting. I'm going to start there just for the heck of it. Tom's. Let's find some Tom action. Uh, Tom's right here. I'm going to go at the end here. And we're on loop, so... So I do high Tom, uh, I do audience perspective, and I don't go crazy like bam, bam. I'm going to go um, near center, so 25 and 20 plus 30, because Lord Tom's sitting out there. Well, we know they're gated already, and right off the bat, they're very thin. So let's see if we can fatten them up a little. Uh, 200-ish again. of them lar base It takes so long to come up. Let's see if it comes up uh, demo version again. Ah, demo. What the? F and uh, oh, it found it this time. What the heck, man? It's on the uh, iLock, right? All right, uh, Tom's. Oh, get rid of this stuff. Let's look at this. Just dips and mids. Let's find dips and some mids, and then back to transients again. Multiband. Go a little 140. Maybe you can go higher. Listen to this. So we have this there for later. If it if the toms aren't cutting, we can just turn that up and boom, they'll cut. This is this to sustain out the low end. Love this plugin. I I got it for uh, 125. I use it too. Uh, products alloy two. It is. One ninety nine, and that is what it was when I bought it. I had it for one forty nine. Oops. 
but I think they're up to 199 now. Yeah. But they did. They had it for 149 for the longest time, so it was 50 bucks cheaper than their site. And then on uh, Alloy 2. Alloy. There it is. They have it for 165. So I got a 40 bucks cheaper. I I don't know why it went up. Inflation, I guess. But it's a great plugin. Very, very good plugin. And I'm just using it for transient. You could also use it for an equalizer. Sometimes I'll do it in here. Sometimes I'll do it outside. Uh, you have an exciter that uh, you can also multiband it. Multiband and affect different areas or just the uh, overall. Uh, like a saturation right here. And then you have. Dynamics 1, you have a compressor and a gate, and Dynamics 2, you have a compressor and a gate. So you could lightly compress into heavy compression, or compress on this one and gate on this one. There's also a de -esser. Um There's something, yeah. It shows the area affected, and then again, you have that limiter where you saw I used that on the kick here. Uh so you can use, you know, anything that's built in there or, I mean, sometimes I go for the uh, L1. So the toms, okay, they sound pretty good right now. Let's start with hi-hat. Let's find just some hi-hat uh, right there. This is definitely hi-hat right here. If I have a no, let's see. Not liking this, uh, so let me use uh, what are we on mono? So EQ, I have uh, the mag, awesome EQ. Uh, go up to twenty-ish. I saw some red hitting there. Uh, so we have overheads. Now I want to find what side the tom's on. Sounds like the hat's to my right, which is what I want. So let's find some toms. So they're they're the right perspective. <coughs> I didn't think they were, but uh, they are in fact the right perspective. So let's leave them there for now and listen to this room. There's nothing there. So what's going on? 
room right here. Why just drop down? <laughs> There's no room for the remainder of the song. Interesting. So let's see that, and that's where it actually does end. <clears throat> so I'm inclined not to use it. So this actually sounds pretty good. There's not a bunch of lows in it, which which we really, which you would really get rid of on the uh, overheads. You just want basically cymbals and the roundness of the snare and toms. But this snare is not very. Leave it at that and listen to this room. You know, and they they say to crush your room, so let's crush your room. Let's see what happens there. Dine out the pie. I, I like the pie for that. Kramer. Where are you? There you are. And I have one? No. There's a small room crush or something. Uh Super Smash Room. Let's try that. Yeah, but there's all that low in there. Look at all that. I'm not liking a bunch of those symbols being accentuated. So anyway, let's unmute everything and listen to the drums as a whole.
That was an edit. a decent mix and now we can send out uh to the uh parallel drum pair the uh kick we could take the uh well, let's leave it at zero for now. <clears throat> and then uh, hear the smack come in. Sometimes you have to drive it uh, harder and scrape some of this room in. Which will also be, we get D verb, get that on the snare. That snare's kicking pretty good. So D verb. It'll be nice and loud here. That's still a lot on the snare there. So let's take some back. 16-ish. Uh, Toms. But let me isolate some toms here. I want to hear them. It's not even doing anything. <clears throat> so let's try some hit. And...
Yeah, it's definitely an edit. Let's verify uh, right here. Let's go in. So overhead, where are you? Right here. Yep, that's a complete wave. That symbol should keep going. But it does not. Room. They killed the room too. Without the room. Okay, that's drums. Save as number five. Mm -hmm. 